We use just part of the pivot table data to draw your charts. So I have your here example. You know this is a dashboard, and uh, uh, you can see that I generated a, a pivot chart using the original data. There are three channels. I want to see you know the each product, uh, what's their composition, and uh, if you click on each of the chart so you can see that um, I only use one slice of this pivot table. How to do that? Well you can't really click anywhere in the chart and click on say insert a pivot chart. If you do that Excel would automatically use all the uh, all the data in the graph. So if you can see select data it actually use all the data in this pivot chart. So what to do is you first insert a chart that has no data in it. So you select anywhere in here. Let's say we want to insert a pie chart. Pie chart. This is the empty one, right? And then you go select data. And this time, you see everywhere is the is empty. So we're going to add a series, and the name. Let's say we want to uh, look at um, product C. What's their composition? Name will be. Oh, sorry. This is data range. Let's leave it. Name will be C. What's the value? Value is here, and uh, what's the label? Label is three channel, and uh, now you click OK. Now you can see that indeed you are able to generate a chart that's only use one slice of the data. Now you can uh, copy this chart and right click again and select the next series. Um, you can delete this and then by click on minus and then add a new one. So this is how you uh, generate individual graphs only using part of the data.